I started that actually in 1989, early, early 89, purely because the EU directive, which was going to change it, was going to come in in 1990, so where everybody had to change the fish filleting and all the, the old, whole operation had to change. Cigarettes going, coffees going, all that type of operation would stop purely because the EU wanted to bring in all the health and regulations, health and safety regulations. Hundreds of little filleting outfits were just going to be affected by it. And the, the character of the docks was like, everybody knew each other. It was the crack in the mornings on the on the auctions, you know. Everybody diving in the cap for a, for a all day breakfast and coffees. And then back to filleting and then shipping it out. And the fish went, you know, out all over the country. I'd get down there at auction time, which probably used to start around half past six. I did that for a good year and a half. Not probably every, every day, but when I felt there was the light was right, I put a body of work together and the, and, and the idea was, you know, to have an exhibition. Since we voted to come out of the EU, it then struck me, I'll go out now and shoot what it's like in 2020. So we've got 30 years. Um, so I went back and over I don't know, eight months, something like that, kept popping down there, um, photographing what it was like. Um, the Casbah is pretty much the same as it was 30 years ago. It's not been touched. It's just like everybody's just gone. And so the whole collection now is called Fishtown. So you've got Fishtown 1990, 2020, about 30 years of um, a body of work. So hopefully we'll um, have an exhibition one day and everybody can come and have a look and see, 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 <laughs> see the culture of it.